Welcome back everyone. In this video, we've got Jamie helping us again. We're doing another dessert in the smoker. So again, another great video for anyone. If you've got your partner hustling you to smoke something other than meat, this is gonna be another great video. We're gonna be doing a hot smoked apple pie. All right, so to start with, you wanna peel and slice your apples. So you wanna slice your apples less than a centimeter thick around that mark. We're gonna use about 10 apples for this recipe. You just want enough apples to cover whatever dish you're using. You want to go a little bit higher than the dish because the apples will sink as we're cooking it. So we'll go ahead, get all of these apples peeled and sliced up. All right, so now our apples are all peeled and sliced. We are going to put them in a fry pan and just cook them off slightly before we start forming our apple pie. All right, so in a pan on medium to high heat, we are going to melt 50 grams of butter. All right, so now our butter's melted. We're gonna add our apples in and also half a cup of caster sugar. I'm just gonna mix them around. So you wanna cook your apples for about five to six minutes. You'll see them start to sweat and then we'll add our next ingredient. So we'll come back soon. So while our apples are cooking away, we can go ahead and get the tray we're gonna be using and grease it up with some butter. This is just gonna stop everything from sticking. And we can also get this lined with pastry if you wanna make your own, go ahead. But we're just gonna be using some store-bought stuff today. All right, so just to be clear, if you're wondering at home, this is short crust pastry. I'm gonna press it down and we're gonna massage it into the sides all the way around. You gotta make sure you got a bit of overhang. We've had to sort of form a few sheets together just so we've got enough because our dish is quite big. All right, so this is what you're looking for with the apples sweating nicely, gone quite nice and soft, and it's reduced down as well. So now we're gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and then a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. And we're just gonna mix that all in. All right, so you don't need long with your spices once they've gone in the apples. We're gonna go ahead and fill our pastry now. Like we said before, you want to make sure you overfill it a bit because it will continue to reduce down. It is a bit tricky getting the right amount of apples, but it's always good to go too much and not enough. You just want to pat it down, even it out, and then we'll put the top on. All right, so we're just going to do a weave on top. You don't have to do this. It just does look nice for presentation. So we'll go start by just laying out some pastry. And then every second piece, you wanna pull back. If you've made a bacon weave before, just like that, pull that back a touch more. Can be a bit of a tedious process, but it does look nice. And then the pieces you didn't pull back, we'll pull back this time. And then we'll just repeat that process until we've got a nice weave. All right, so now we're just gonna trim off any excess of the weave. All right, and then now the excess pastry that we left over the side, we're just gonna fold over and we're gonna push it down with a fork. All right, and before we get it in the smoker, now we've got all them edges folded over we can just give all the pastry a nice brush with some egg wash. All right, so we are gonna be using the master built today. We've got it set up at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. We've got a beautiful chunk of peach wood in there just for a nice subtle smoke flavor. So we're gonna give it about 45 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. So we'll get it in there. Right, so it's been about 45 minutes. Our apple pie is nice and golden brown. So we'll have a quick look before we get it out, slice and serve it. So that's exactly what you're looking for. So now we'll get it out. 
let it cool down for a minute and then we'll get it out of the tray somehow. Jamie will educate me on that and uh, slice and serve it. All right, so we're all done. We got it out of the tray safely. It was a bit of a process, but we got there in the end. So time to have a slice and taste it. Oh, it just smells incredible. Probably don't have the best knife for this, but made a bit of a mess of it. We'll be right. Just gonna have a nice end piece. Still probably too hot to taste, but it'll be worth burning my mouth, I think. Mmm. You taught me well, Jamie. A bit of fresh cream or something would be unbelievable with it. Mmm. So simple. So easy. Definitely going to try that. You can actually taste that subtle peach smoke in there. Does add another level of flavour. That's going to impress your partner. So if they're sick of you smoking meat all the time, whip one of them up and they'll be impressed. Keep them happy. Make sure you do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Jamie, for showing me. And we'll see you next time.